distributivity for various materials. This is similar to how if you look at mechanics of materials or design, you will have all these modulus of elasticity, modulus of rigidity and everything tabulated for different materials. This is exactly how you do it for radiation heat transfer as well. You perform spectroscopic studies. It has already been done and well documented. And the emissivities, sometimes called the emi emis emittents uh, also, that, that the, we use the emissivity term rather than emittents. And uh, there is no real reason why one should not use the other. But this emissivity is typically tabulated. And because radiation is dependent on wavelength, because radiation heat transfer is dependent on direction, there are some sticky issues that one has to bypass. So I'm going to first list all the emissivities, label them, and then we'll come back on Friday, define them properly, and get, get down to solving some problems to understand how they come about. Okay? There are four of them. Epsilon, lambda, theta, lambda, theta, phi, and t. I'm not going to write what they are. We'll do that in the next lecture. But this one is called as the spectral directional emissivity. Spectral because it depends on wavelength. Directional because it depends on theta. And you should ask me, hey, what about phi? The great simplification is that it is very weakly dependent on phi. So we are going to neglect that dependence. It is dependent only on theta and on lambda. So spectral, directional, emissivity. You know epsilon to be called as emissivity all the time. Then the next one, epsilon lambda, lambda comma t. This is just going to be called as spectral hemispherical emissivity because I am integrating over all the directions. And it's going to be a function only of wavelength and temperature. Everything is a function of temperature. Even if I don't write it, it's a function of temperature. Third one is epsilon theta of t. Not a function of wavelength. It's a function only of the direction. So this is called as total directional emissivity. And the mother of all things, which is what we are seeking, is epsilon t. This is the total emissivity. If I know epsilon, then I can say this is E divided by Eb. E is the emissive power of a real surface. Eb is the emissive power of an ideal surface, which is sigma times t to the power 4. If I can somehow find epsilon of t using any one of these three, or any two of these three, then I'm good to go. And the great news is we don't need to redo any of these things for absorptivity. It is exactly the same idea, the same set of equations, just call epsilon as alpha. Okay? Once we do that, we will then do the last approximation for radiative heat transfer, which is the gray surface. That is, for certain surfaces, we mentioned that alpha and epsilon are the same. So once we do that, everything is fair and, uh, you know, fair. Everything is fine. All I have to do is, okay, I'm talking only about two surfaces. What if there are multiple surfaces? That is where the sticky things begin. Thank you.